Hey Virgo, what's up Virgo? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all you Virgos out there. All right, so please do only take what resonates. All right, Virgo, so let's hop in. Let's see what's going on. That'd be great, of course. Um, before we hop in really quick, Virgo, I am doing a New Year's raffle. All right, it comes with three prizes. Um, the grand prize will be a six-month forecast reading. So I will look into the first six months of 2023. You guys will get the January box. The January box, um, I haven't launched it yet, but whatever I decide to do for the January box, you guys will get the January box for free. Um, and then you guys will get a $25 gift card to my online shop as well. All right, or to use towards um, a personal reading outside of the forecast or whatever you want to do with it. It can be used for the shop or um, to book a reading, either or. All right, um, so yes, that would be the raffle. Like I said, it comes with three prizes. Um, that's just a grand prize. If you guys want um, more information on the raffle, the information is in the description box below. And it's also pinned in the comments as well. All right, Virgo. Um, with that being said, let's hop into your reading. If you guys want additional messages, you guys can always check your moon, rising our Venus sign. All right, so let's see what's going on with my Virgos. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. travel card i didn't feel like that was the message so i decided to still shuffle if it's meant to come back out it will all right but let's see if you guys are traveling it's saying to make sure you guys have everything like you always tend to forget something so i don't know what it is like make sure you got all your makeup your charger your brushes your outfits, your shoes, or there's something that you're going to leave at the door, like on the counter, something like that is saying, like, to make sure you have it, Virgo. So let's see what's going on, Virgo. We have, let's see, inspired action, determined to change, motivation, creative idea. All right, so let's see what this is about. Indecision, okay. So at the bottom, we have vision. We have judgment. We have stuck. So I feel like you're no longer going to feel stuck and stagnant. Something is going in your favor karmically. All right, um, Virgo. Something that you've been thinking of. Something that you've been dreaming and wishing for. It's coming into the near future. I'm here in 10 days. Could be less than that. But you're getting some type of justice, karmic justice. Final decision to be made. Weighing options. Choosing the best path forward. Taking charge and picking a new direction. Something like you felt stuck. But you're no longer stuck. Like, so it's like whatever you were visioning is now coming to fruition. Look, and under that, look, we have justice. Didn't I say that? And I didn't even see that. Wow. Com um, compromise, fairness, receptivity. It could be within a soul connection as well. Okay. Or there was some type of karmic cycle that you were in. All right. Oh, so a lot of you guys are ending a karmic cycle. And getting karmic justice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this is about, Virgo. Right, let's see what's going on with Virgo. Summer rising, also Venus. Spirit, please guide me through this reading for the time of Virgo. Summer rising, also Venus. What do we need to do here at this time? Virgo. All right, give me a message for Virgo. This came out in Taurus reading, The Manipulator. So we have Manipulator, twisting facts, making them feel sorry. They act like a martyr. We have hot and cold, on and off relationships, sending mixed signals, don't know what they want. Give me one more message. One more message for Virgo. One more message for Virgo. 
Yeah, okay. All right, I see the fed up. So we have sneaky behavior, disappearing at phone, silence are off, running errands, walking away, leaving someone behind, ending a love triangle, tired of the emotional mess. All right. So what I'm getting is they were being manipulated by somebody, Virgo, or somebody was, man yeah, somebody was manipulating your person and they have been sneaking off with you to, or to be with you. Um, we have, a, okay, so we have walking away. Then we have trying to be loyal to one person, no sex life with a current partner, fear of intimacy. So I feel like Virgo, you and this person, like you guys could have been intimate, but I feel like they were holding off sex or not really having sex with you until they were out of this other relationship or they just weren't having sex with their partner. And... Sorry, girl. Um, they were having sex with their partner because this person wants to be loyal to you or wants to only be sexual with you. They are not into the sex with their person okay or it's just like it's just nothing's happening but well, let's see what's going on Virgo. i'm getting mixed messages because we have fed up at the bottom of this deck and we are prepared for union choosing to find somebody better cutting their losses hard to hard conversation so yeah let's see what this is about let's see Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. I feel like there's the, there's a love triangle, um, and I feel like someone's leaving their person for you. Yep. I feel like they're leaving their person for you because you're like their heart, like like you are who they want. Let's see. Why is inspired action here? Determined to change motivation and creative idea. Why is this here for Virgo? Why is this here for Virgo? Maybe you guys are going to get what you want. We have the devil. Could be a Capricorn. We have the eight of pentacles reverse. So somebody could have been in a karmic or toxic relationship. And it just wasn't working out. And maybe you knew that. And this person didn't want to no longer put any more energy into this relationship. They didn't want to make her put the effort into that relationship. So inspired action came, like when it says determined to change, it's like this person is changing the situation by walking away and no longer sneaking off to be with you and following their heart and going towards you and you're the person they want to be with. And I fight this other person could have been like manipulating them and you guys had this on and off relationship and maybe at some point in time they didn't know what they wanted, but now they do. So yeah that's what's going on yeah they're leaving their person for you they're leaving a karmic or toxic situation something that they didn't want anymore maybe they were just like kind of scared to leave but let's see give me some more messages for virgo three of wands are reverse yeah the grass is greener with you it wasn't green over there and i feel like they're making their way back to you because they know this is what they want and they don't want to mess this up they don't want to like stay in that situation and then like kind of miss out on what you guys have going on. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy, Virgo. So you're the person that they want to be with. Okay, you've been loyal and down for them. And what does this card say? Trying to be loyal to one person. So I feel like they're trying to be loyal to just you. And they want to only just like be with you. But I feel like they have two are needed to walk away from that other situation first. And maybe that's not something that they were doing. six of cups so yet they were with a karmic soulmate they're in a karmic soulmate connection or you could be virgo and maybe it's like you can be leaving your person to be with this person but it feels like this is them we have the tower situation that they were comfortable in something that they were you know scared to like let go of this is somebody that fears unknown but they see you as their empress their divine feminine 
the Four of Pentacles. You're somebody that they want to hold on to. King of Wands is in reverse. I, but I feel like they don't want to live this double life and continue being like this in a relationship with you. Let's see why the Six of Cups is here. Going to the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Hermit. That's your energy, Virgo. So I feel like Three of Swords. Wow, yes. Three of Swords is in reverse. That would definitely make sense. Motivation. So you motivated this person to come out of a toxic or comic relationship with somebody. And now they're opening their heart. Now they're opening their heart to you and ready to move forward within this connection. So now you will get what you want. Remember at the bottom of this deck it said um, vision, judgment, stuff, justice, soul connection. See strong, undeniable attraction, a bond that can't be broken, a soul level connection. A spiritual force that joins souls together, but we have it with justice. So something is going to fair, be fair and go in your favor. And somebody is, look, see, coming out of a karmic cycle. And we have abandonment. We have emperor. So you could have felt like this person was your, your masculine, your emperor. And you could have felt abandoned by them or rejected. And they could have been in some type of codependent relationship that was in disorder. Like, So, yeah, this is all making sense, Virgo. So now they're opening their heart to you. All right, so that looks good. One to the three of swords in reverse, and then we're gonna pull your six card spread. Five to the three of swords in reverse. Eight of wands in reverse. Uh oh, the world card in reverse. And we have justice. Yes, yeah, see, they're coming back to you. There was slow progress here with the eight of wands in reverse, meaning like it was taking forever. Like it was stuff was still happening and moving before it. Between you guys, but it was moving slow. I don't like the world card in reverse, though, but this is just telling me something you have had to wait a long time for. But I feel like the cycle hasn't ended. Something hasn't ended. Go into the world really quick in reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse and the Emperor. So, I mean, that's still, I mean, what it's pretty much just saying is like, you guys are still going to be like in this kind of like, even though they're walking away, it's still going to feel like an open relationship. Like, you have them, yes, like, they're they, they're committing to you, but there's still some stuff that they need to do and probably take care of because they're coming up as a Knight of Cups in reverse. And I feel like this is more than just, like, a one-night stand, a hookup or whatever. You know, it's more than that. And I feel like maybe that's what it was to them at first, but now it's, it's deeper than that, okay? So let's pull your six cards and see what's going on, girl. <clears throat> We have six of pentacles, seven of swords reverse. We have the ten of cups, yes. Um, the page of pentacles, the nine of wands in reverse, and the three of cups. Yes, like they feel like you're their person. Virgo, we have the two of cups in reverse, the magician in reverse, five of cups in reverse. So I feel like this person didn't see them. What they didn't see was them moving on and ending a relationship. That's what they were doing behind their back. And I mean, you are coming up as other woman, you know. But now they're single to be with you. Because we have the higher front reverse queen of wands. Yeah, so you were the other woman, Virgo, for some of you guys. But now they're walking away from that situation. So then you're more, you were more than just like the other woman, you know, a side piece, piece of ass, you know, stuff like that. So let's see why the six of pentacles is here. So I feel like whoever this is, they're tired of living a double life and ready to be loyal to just to one person and that's you i feel six of pentacles here ten of wands reverse yes yeah, see no more burden and no and no longer stressed by the situation it's finally going to be an equal give and take they're finally just giving in to you in this relationship um why is the ten of wands reverse could be a fire sign we have the four of swords yeah they're currently in separation or going through some type of separation or separating themselves from this other person that they were giving into something that was stressful something that they no longer want to be in so that they can fully like give their attention to you and give into this relationship. Go on to the Seven of Swords in reverse. For Virgo. <clears throat> Let's see. The Chariot in reverse. So something was lacking direction. Something wasn't moving forward. And I feel like they didn't want to force themselves out of a situation or force the situation to change. But let's see. Okay. 
they felt forced to stay in a situation or something just wasn't moving forward, something was lacking direction, but now they're being truthful and honest with somebody and telling them how they really feel and that they want to be single and leave that relationship. So they are telling this person, like, look, I'm moving on from you. I don't want to be with you. I'm about to go be with somebody else, which is you, Virgo. And that's what it looks like is happening. They're finally speaking up and saying something. Go into the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Going to the Ten of Cups for Virgo. Three of Wands. Yep, see, they're going towards, they're coming towards you. You are who they want. And look, the grass is dark green on here. Seven of Wands. They're no longer going to block this. They're no longer going to let somebody block the connection. They're no longer going to lie. They're no longer going to keep it a secret. They're no longer going to keep the relationship hidden. They no longer want to do that anymore. What's this one towards? Yep, see, they're no longer going to sneak out. They don't care about fighting and arguing with the other person. It is what it is. They're leaving and that's just what it is. So I fight this person. Then you guys don't take cards from the ground. I fight this person was like really trying to argue and fight with them and you know, trying to tell them what to do. And they're just like, nope, I don't care. I'm done. I'm gone. So this person doesn't even care what the consequences are no more. And they're tired of fighting with this person. Yeah, the sun in reverse. They were depressed and not happy anyway. And I feel like even if it wasn't you, they were gonna eventually leave. But remember. You guys motivated this person to leave this person. I don't feel like it was just because of you. Like, you, of course, I feel like you wanted them to be with you, Virgo. But I feel like you guys motivated them in more ways than you know um, to leave this person. All right, so let's see. Why is it the pentacles here? This is a message coming in. Um, yeah, I feel like this person constantly told you that over and over, like how they weren't happy with this person and how they didn't want to stay in the relationship. And how they wanted to move on and move forward and, you know, be with you and come out of an unrequited love situation. Yeah. Nine of Wands reverse. This is somebody no longer guarded. Okay. They're letting their guards down. But I don't feel like in that type of way, they're no longer going to block this is what I'm feeling. Why is it Nine of Wands reverse? Two of Swords reverse. Yeah. So they're no longer going to lie. They're no longer going to hide it. They're no longer feeling stuck. No longer, you know, at a crossroads. No longer going to hold back how they feel. Page of Cups. Yeah, Five of Cups. Like, they know it's going to hurt the other person's feelings. Or they know, like, it's going to hurt. Like, somebody's going to be hurt in this situation. But whoever this is, they're doing what they feel is best for them. And they're ready to leave and walk away. All right? And then we have a Three of Cups here. I have a Three of Cups here. So it looks like you guys will be reconnecting or... Connecting, seeing each other. I love the three of cups on this deck. Why is the three of cups here? Two of pentacles reverse. So let me see. Coming out of confusion. Confusion in her hand, man. So you guys were confused and kind of maybe feeling stuck. And didn't know how this was going to turn out. But there's going to be some type of reunion or some type of reconnection. Like you guys reconnecting or there's going to be some type of reunion. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Five of swords. Um, I feel like this is more so like the other person feeling stuck and in, like in confused. Like what's going on? Um... Because they're blocking this other person out. And some, I see somebody upset and angry. And somebody like, wow, it's really over. And I don't see that being you upset and angry. Because they're coming towards you. So you wouldn't be upset and angry, I don't feel. Yeah, see, somebody's upset and angry over the fact that you guys are coming together. Like, they're coming towards you six of wands. Yeah, this does look good so far. Like, right here. Looks like you guys are definitely going to be exclusive and move forward. But... Oh, that's what they're hoping for. But I just feel like somebody's going to be jealous. Or somebody's mad. Like somebody, whoever this karmic or toxic person is, they're mad that um, you guys are moving forward. Somebody's mad that you guys are in a relationship and are will be moving forward. So let's pull some additional messages. Let's see. We have stubborn, unflexible, yielding, rigid. All right, let's see what else this is about. So this, maybe a person is just stubborn. They can be a tourist or somebody that's stubborn. We have missed opportunity. Regrets, remorse, guilt. Yeah. And I feel like this was definitely about to be a missed opportunity. And somebody was being stubborn. 
and I feel like this person finally took a risk. We have risk taker and they took a risk and now I feel like it's no longer going to be a missed opportunity anymore. Going to the stubborn card. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. Yeah, they were definitely about to lose you. You have swords in reverse. Yep, two of wands. But somebody changed their mind and made a decision quick. Yeah, they had to come out of inner conflict. They realized that there was definitely a connection. You they you were who they wanted to be with. So that's what I'm getting, Virgo. All right, so let's expose your haters. I don't know if I told you guys in this reading. We're going to do your love reading. Expose your haters. I'm going to pull a spirit message. So if I didn't, I'm sorry. But let's see, Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's expose your haters. Here's some evil eye messages for Virgo. This person loves you to talk about them because it brings them clout. So, Virgo, you guys can be around somebody and maybe you talk about them and it, they like it because it brings them clout. Let's see. Two months in reverse. Come on. Whoever this is, they're fake anyway. And they use you just so you can talk about them, just so that it could bring, you know, just so they could get clout. Like, it's like whatever you're doing, like, like say if it's like, it could be like a really good friend and you might brag about their products or brag about the type of person they are. And then it's like everybody else might start liking them or their products and certain stuff like that or just like them as a person. But it's because of you, but they don't, they don't really care for you like that. Like, they just use you. They fake. All right, priestess. I'm, you know who this is. And I feel like this, like, maybe you consider them to be family or somebody close to you, but they're just fake. They never were. Like, I feel like I'm just getting fake around them. And someone could still, like, talk to, like, your ex or somebody that you were with a long time ago. Or they still talk to your family and you don't like that. Let's see. Give me one more message for Virgo. One more message for Virgo. This person projects their toxicity on you just because they're jealous. Yeah, so somebody projects their toxicity on you because they're jealous. Let's see. Yep, I told you. I feel like it's this per. It may be the same person. But this is positive energy. And somebody definitely tries to steal your light, your shine. Or like tries to come and suck you dry. This is an energy vampire. So whenever you're around them, it's like the, head, the energy is always heavy and dark. You're always tired. It's always some shit. You know, like, every time we see them on meet up, it's always something going on. They did something. They're always into something. Something happened. You know, it's always something like that. Page of Wands. And they're younger than you. Mm -hmm. Somebody that is younger than you. And they're a liar. And you're learning some type of karmic lesson here. When it comes to people... And how, like, how people treat you and how you see people. You may see people, like, um, so, like, even if you're spiritual, Virgo, it's, like, you see the good in all people. And not that that's a bad thing, but I feel like, overall, it affects you because I feel like you try to, like, like no, they wouldn't do that. Or you try to be understanding or you wait till they suck you dry and then realize, like, it's just saying that you see the best and the good in people. And so maybe you need to step back and really see people for who they truly and really are. Okay? So before you get too close or allow them to be too close to you or let, you know, allow them in your face, your, your face, your space fully, you know, take, take some time to like really like figure them out and see what they're all about. All right? So let's pull your spirit message, Virgo. Virgo. Did y'all hear my stomach, darling? If y'all did, I'm sorry. I'm not even hungry. That's the crazy part. I don't know what that was. But it sounded like my stomach was growling. Like, it was growling, but... Um, well, maybe I'm just, like, a little hungry. I ate earlier, but I woke up. I wasn't feeling too good. So... Mm -hmm. Alright. Virgo. Spirit, give me a message for Virgo.
So we have number 23, Shamic Journey Purpose, Attunement, Vision Quest. 23 breaks down to 5. This is all about change. So let's see. All right, Virgo. So. Let me see. If you wonder what your true purpose is, now is the time to open up and receive. The white feathers of the priestess headdress are a symbol of spirit, a message about freedom from the mundane world. The pursuit of spiritual matters may be where your greatest purpose lies. And the expression of your spirit's value and power may come in the form of shamanic practices like healing ceremonies and psychic visions. Let yourself look first to this side of you. For it could reveal the core purpose from which all other intentions and activities grow. So I'm gonna read some more. But remember, when I was telling you, like, even with this um, hater, whoever this is, Virgo. Remember, I was like, some of you guys are very spiritual, but I feel like you are you are gifted and you know it, but you don't really use your gifts as much. Like you're you're not in tune with them, or it's like you know you have them and you block or ignore them out. Because there's a lot of people that I feel like you guys let in your space and your energy that you know don't need to be around you or that are not good for you or not for your best and highest good. Okay? Um, let me see. The antlers in the priestess left hand is a symbol of higher connection. Since a young deer regularly sheds its antlers, this message here is to take some time to learn what old perceptions need to be shared from your own growth and higher purpose. Attune to the voice of your higher self and don't be afraid to let go from the promise of new opportunities and expanded perceptions is clear. These new approaches will illuminate your passage and your vision quest. Um, you deserve to devote yourself to your own soul's evolution. Meditate on your purpose and envision the inner and outer journeys that will bring you greater attunement. Once you prioritize this process, your pers your purpose will be fulfilled in magical and even miraculous ways. Affirmation: I am attuned to the shamanic. I mean, sorry, I am attuned to the shaman within. I devote myself to my own sir soul's journey, and I am blessed. Sorry, I thought that was all over the place. <laughs> sorry, y'all. So that is your reading, Virgo. So that was deep. Okay. Um. Use your gifts, Virgo, okay? Um, and I don't know. Somebody around you guys is being very sneaky, though. Are you being, like, are you guys are in a sneaky situation? But I see you getting something. Something was definitely one of your favor, okay? There could be a Leo, a Pisces, or an Aquarius affecting you guys' relationship or connection. Um, or it can be that sign that you're going towards, okay? So, are dealing with. So, that is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com, or you guys can book on my online shop using Afterpay, my tears have healed my heart .com. And what else? That's it. Follow your girl on Facebook and on IG as Fire Intuition. All right, Virgo. I love you guys. Stay dope. I'll see you guys in your next Virgo reading or on the channel in a collective reading. All right. Bye, Virgo.